All right, I took the, uh, I'm taking and using the middle shelf as a template, basically. I got very lucky, I'm telling you, because I, I thought I left a little extra, and it just fits. And so I'm, uh, like I said, very lucky. This has got a little bit of a bow in it, and I can pull that together when I glue it, glue it up. So that'll, that'll pull together. But the important thing is that the corners are just right on the money. That's going to be good. And then when I slide this down to the other corner, I'm nice and tight down there as well. So I've got to mark and cut these notches. In, in my main piece here and I get that to fit exactly the way I want. This is one of those rare instances where I'm glad I have the capacity to make this cut with my fence. It's a 51, just shy of 51 inch cut. So I'm able to butt my square edge up against the fence and run it and uh, see how this turns out. tear out on the bottom but this is the good side this is what's going to go uh, in I guess we'll put it that way long on that end, which is all right, right up here. Too long there too. All right, I got to adjust that fence over just a pair of 30 second of an inch and make one more cut. Right, I got a nice fit uh, with my main piece or my my real piece I guess. I'm gonna use this a drop as a template to, to notch these corners. So the first cut I'm gonna make is this one and this one. And then That's my depth of cut right there. All right, I got a nice fit um, in this direction, but this way I've got a little bit too much daylight. So it's, and I made, what I did was I just made a square cut, uh, kept the setting the same for both. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. So the blade is set up right now for, and the stop for this cut. Then I'm going to have to adjust it just a little bit uh, and make the narrower cut on this one. So I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing is standing the board up like this. And making, yeah. making these cuts and I've got to I've got to lower the blade a little bit as well so that I don't overcut this one
All right, I've got a little bit of an overcut on that uh, vertical cut. So I'm, I'm going to see how it fits. If it fits, all right, it's too tight. And it's, it's about that little bit of overcut that I did with, the, uh, with that vertical cut. So I've got to slide my stop over a little bit here. I'm going to move it over about the thickness of two business cards. So I'm going to be careful to leave this right where it is, up tight against that stop. two together. Boy, oh boy, that is nice. Then you got that natural uh, lip that I was telling you about for a stop. And I'm looking down here. I can, I can barely see daylight uh, on those um, horizontal cuts. The vertical cuts were, I mean, that's perfect. The horizontal cuts, I can just, I mean, just, just a crack of daylight. Right after putting a couple more clamps on this thing and uh, taking a look at it, you, you can't see it from this angle, but uh, this is the square end of my panel, and it's tight at the bottom, and it's open by probably a 32nd of an inch up here. So I don't think that I can rack this thing that much to bring it back. I mean, I like the fit everywhere else. Just as a nice fit. So what I may end up doing is cutting a dado in this so that I can hide that. Um, one of the other alternative is to cut it, you know, out of square so it fits. You can do that too, and then, then it's just a matter of sliding it in there. And then I'll we'll cross that bridge when I get to it, I guess. For now, I'm very happy. Everything is, everything snugs up just beautifully. It's just going to be a question mark as to how I how I get this thing together. But, I guess if I can dry fit it together, I can glue it up. I have to take it in stages. All right, that's it for today.